According to the internet, a meme is a humorous image, video, piece of text, etc., that is copied, often with slight variations, and spread rapidly by internet users. Well, today on the show, we are graced by meme greatness. You know him as Hide the Pain Herald. He knows himself as Andras Arato, and he is joining us today from Hungary to share his story. I'm Jamie Alcroft, here with Dina Friedman, Danny Mann, Bill Flipiak, and our host, Louise Palenka. Weezy. Louise! Thank you, Jamie. We are all hunkered and bunkered in our respective homes. The only difference between this and every other Zoom call is that we have prepared a rundown and no one is eating. Yet. Yeah. Danny, Jamie, Bill, have you guys found anything interesting online? Oh boy, have we? Yeah. 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 How convenient. Uh, actually, uh, Danny. Uh, yes. We we have um, with us today one of the foremost experts on memes, but I'm talking about Paleolithic memes. This is around thirty six thousand years ago. And we actually have, are you, are you the artist that actually uh, created the cave drawing? No, I'm the cat. Oh, you're the cat, actually, the, on the cave drawing. I'm the actual cat. And, and when did you become a cat meme? I believe it was in the paleo panic era. And I was, I was walking by a cave. And a guy said, wait a second, I want to draw you. Yeah. So I sat and I sat and I sat. And I have nine lives. It took two lives. He carved it. And that's what you saw on the wall. Now, what you have nine lives? What life are you on now? Oh, roughly seven. <laughs> <laughs> on your seventh life. In your number, seven. What? <laughs> <laughs> Now, were you ever paid for this, or did you just you were just a cat and you just? I was it? no, I was I was paid in small rodents. Small <laughs> rodents, I see. Enough for my family for maybe a week. Well, the Paleolithic rodents were were pretty big. Oh yeah, a rodent could last you a, a good part of an eon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. Uh, when you when you look up at that cave drawing, do you uh, do you remember? Do you have fond memories of how young you looked then, or I oh please, I looked younger. I looked younger, and also my my paws were in better shape because I was hanging from a branch mm -hmm. for the famous because that's how they got that hang in there baby, but it was hang in there Murray because <laughs> that was my name. Okay. but they changed it later for the poster. Murray the cat. <laughs> Yeah, more, the cat. more relatable. It was. It was, especially by the mammoths. All right. Well, it, we're definitely in the presence of all kinds of like historically meme important uh, figures. But well, let's move on with the show because now we've moved on to the, from cave paintings, we've moved on to the internet. And Dean is going to explain to us how the internet has, uh, has launched a uh, meme culture into its kind of own new universe. Take it away, Dina. The phrase, a picture's worth a thousand words, realized its full potential with the advent of the internet meme. While a meme typically makes a strong statement and takes a stance, a lot of its appeal is in what has been left unsaid. Because the popularity of a particular meme rises and falls naturally, and usually without the influence of outside forces, they're one of the few cultural mediums that feel authentic and unforced. When a meme format contains the likeness of a person, then that person gains a measure of fame. But unlike other kinds of celebrity, being meme famous is akin to being a folk hero, brought into the spotlight in the process of connecting people, making them laugh and feel less alone. A meme celebrity has a special place in the culture. Today, we're joined by one of the most recognizable memes, uh, memes of all time, Andras Arato, known widely as Hide the Pain Herald. Welcome, Andrash. Hello, hello there. Please I'm tell us where, where, where you are uh, physically located. 
Uh, I'm sitting in Hungary in, in a voluntary lockdown because the virus is in Hungary as well as in any other part of the world. So I'm sitting here in my apartment waiting for your questions. All right. Well, we've got some. According to Know Your Meme, the first HTPH meme was posted on the forum of facepunch.com the website of a video game developer and publisher in September 2011 and then spread through sites like Facebook and Reddit and 4chan. The memes were based on stock photos from Dreams Time, a website that offers royalty-free user-submitted content. So, um, Mr. Rorato, please give us some background information on yourself and your life leading up to becoming better known as Hide the Pain Herald. Actually, I'm, I'm an engineer by profession. A retired engineer. I'm, I'm uh, 70, 75 years old, uh, living in Hungary, as I told you. In, in my previous life, before being a meme, I, uh, uh, I was a lighting engineer who was involved in, in the lighting business. I, I, I took... Um, so different tasks in, the, in this field for lamps, lighting, um, construction, test, testing, measurement, selling, uh, advertising. So any, everything which is, was connected with light. And after I got retired, uh, I became a meme. It, it, it was a pure coincidence. No, I, I, I never, never wanted to be a meme. No, I wanted to be a Nobody yeah. does. Nobody does. Yeah, Danny. It's just upon us. So you went, you went and had your photo taken by a stock photography company because you thought, why not? This will be fun. It's another adventure. And uh, in, in some of the photographs, when they asked you to smile, I guess to some people that, that discovered these photographs, it looked like you were crying on the inside. So they could relate to that. Like there's a lot of people that uh, like, walk through their day going, all right, let me just grin and bear it. So that's what the people say. So uh, I considered myself as uh, not, not a sad, but uh, a rather happy guy. Um, so people who know me, they know that, that they are, I'm, I'm not crying inside all the time. And, and I'm happy now to, to talk with you. And the next thing you uh, it's, 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 it's just, it may be, it's, 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 it's a facial expression of mine. Maybe it was too long for, uh, for, for, for posing for the, for the pictures. I don't know. <laughs> they asked me to uh, smile one more time. I'm going to become a meme. Damn yeah, it. As, yeah. I, I want a big smile, a bigger one. So show me these. And, and, that became the, the well, my, my, my trademark. You have beautiful teeth and um, puppy dog eyes. So there is that. So now that you've become a meme. <laughs> puppy dog <laughs> eyes, really? Uh, I have Betty who Davis first, eyes. Who first, brought, who, eyes. Who first brought the, the meme to your attention? Oh, I found it by myself. Really? Yeah, because... Uh, well, after the stock photos were made, I was uh, curious what they was used for. Right. And I, I, I uh, took, took the pictures of myself and make, made an image search on these pictures. And uh, after, the, in, after the first, uh, first search, I, I uh, didn't find any means. So just the, the normal use, I mean, I had to, to play different roles during these uh, these photo right. shoots, so, so uh, when I was a doctor, for instance, I appeared on the on the web page of a hospital, and when I was right. a so professor, that, I uh, appeared at, at the university's uh, homepage, and after, uh, it it took a while, uh, maybe some months, uh, yeah. when I uh, when I uh, met the first memes. And uh, it was a, 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 a so I, I, I cannot describe it. Uh, so it, it was like, like, a, a, like a shock, like a lightning were you, flash. Were you angry? So, yeah. Were you? Uh, really? Really. Uh, because this, this uh, 
this first mean. So there were some some funny. I I I like uh, like some of them, mm -hmm. but there were some some um, some 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 not so kind and rather disgusting ones. Yeah. And I I I wasn't proud of that. What was the most so, disgusting one? Oh, oh, I don't want to tell you now because you make an image search and you can find n n nothing. <laughs> nothing gets loose from the internet, and I don't want to see these pictures. So you're just taking your your stock photos, you're dragging them into the Google Im image search, and then stuff is popping up, and then all of a sudden you're seeing that people have taken your face and are and are having fun, yeah. Uh, yeah. with with your expression, and it made you feel violated. Yeah, I I don't know, didn't know what to do. So uh, at first, I, I wanted to withdraw all my pictures from the internet, but it was uh, impossible uh, because uh, when, uh, after the photo shooting, I ha had to make a, a written contribution to the for the use of these pictures. So it was uh, not uh, not a possible way. Even that even if there were a legal way to do it. It's impossible because there is something called the Streisand effect, and the more you try to get something to take da taken down, the more people want to spread it. Well, uh, I couldn't do anything against the illegal use. So uh, these meme pictures, uh, none of them were used legally. Of course, if, because if 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 they used them illegally, then they, they had to know that that, that was uh, I had some restrictions. So uh, it was practically forbidden to use my pictures uh, for sexual purposes uh, in politics uh, and in, 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 re in connected with yeah. religion. Agreement. But yeah. uh, the meme makers uh, didn't follow these rules. Well, of course, that's the whole idea is they you can grab anything on yeah. the Internet and put and turn it into anything and create hybrids and the thing that's so interesting about the culture is it feeds on itself and then it sparks new ideas and there is no containing it and there's no containing any portion of the internet so you know that's, that's how you, in that's how you end up with kardashians a, they'll put a watermark over images to so that when people do steal them at least people mm -hmm. but i'm sure yeah, they uh, figured out how to get rid of watermarks the, the early memes had the watermark oh, oh okay because they were stolen pictures now here's is the stock photo company, are they now proud that you're a meme? Have they embraced it as well? Well, I don't have any connection with the stock photo company. Okay. So it's, it's the photographer's business. I guess he, uh, he, he made a, a, a couple of money with, with my pictures. So have you become uh, more familiar with internet culture and meme culture since you became a meme? No, no, no. <laughs> so I uh, I was on the internet uh, maybe from the very beginning, from the uh, mid mid nineties. Maybe maybe I was uh, one of the first guys who had the internet uh, in in my not not at home but but uh, where I was working. It was an international company and I had internet, but that time. Uh, Internet was completely completely different from now. So it was, I think it it was the golden era of internet. Then um, practically there was uh, everything was 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 free. So there was uh, there were no no paid contents. There were very little ads on on the internet, and the people helped each other. So it it it. It was very good it, and in the first time. I, I uh, set up my first homepage in, in uh, 1996, as I remember. So and you've always been inter interested in internet culture and you were an, er an early adopter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, so I can say I was fond of internet from the very beginning. What what caused you to reach a point where you embraced everything that was happening to you, as opposed to trying to fight it? Well, it it um, took several years till I embraced it. When 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 I realized that I can cannot do anything against it, and there is uh, nothing left to me than than to embrace it. Mm -hmm. And and it it was not so long ago. Let's say uh, three or four years ago. 
So this uh, this uh, this first uh, stock photo images are 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 uh, ten years old now. It's just interesting yeah. because so many. It, it, it's kind of like that adage: "Be careful what you wish for," because so many people are trying desperately to get attention online, and they're going mm -hmm. through. Yeah through hoops and trying to do everything humanly possible to get attention and nobody's paying attention to them and here's a, a gentleman who doesn't want anything to do with it and he's getting all the attention I, I always say that um, that uh, it, it's, it's a brand is being behind me without my my uh, my knowledge and, and my will so yeah. it so it, it, it was a ready-made fame yeah. Are you being I only have, are you being asked to model on, or or to endorse other products now that your face is famous? Uh, now yes. At, at, in the beginning, uh, so I, I of course the the the, the stock photos were used for different purposes, but I uh, didn't get a penny after this, uh, right. this use. But uh, after I became famous, so let's see, uh, I, I had, uh, I had uh, several invitations to, to, to act in, in, in ads or to appear on the stage. Um, the first ad was a Hungarian, for a Hungarian uh, car dealer company. Uh-huh. And, and so they offer you money. So now... I got money for that. That, that, that. that was the first instance I got Good. money for for the memes. So I Andra, got the memes have, you, for, for acting. have you ever made a meme? Have you ever made your own meme using your 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 uh, image? Oh, not very often. It can happen, but uh, not not on a regular basis. Did you know so that? I, I I prefer to make uh, short videos. Ooh, I want to hear about that. But first, we need to tell you that we have made a meme using your image. I hope it's. I hope you're going to be feeling comfortable about it, gentlemen. Do you have that that meme that we made? So the meme reads: When your manager tells you you're booked on Things I Found Online podcasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I really, uh, I have a manager. That's that's right. I think this this is a meme you're going to want to frame and hang in in a in a in a photo gallery. Don't yeah, but I I don't think it, that it, one's going to that it's one's from not the going to go on a photo gallery. Yes, it's 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 a it's an old picture. That one's not going to go on a pillow. So I I, I look ten years older now. No, you do not actually. Then that's oh, the truth. You. <laughs> I like your pillows. Yeah. Oh, there's pillows. Oh yeah, shirts, okay. pillows. I did my research. Oh, all right. <laughs> Oh, cool. I'm, curious, I'm curious, do you have advice to people who are pushing to get that kind of exposure and that kind, I mean, I think they're unaware of, especially younger generations, I don't think they recognize that, to your point, not everybody's going to be nice and fun. There are going to be people who are going to be very mean using your, your energy. So what advice do you have to people who are craving that kind of attention through the internet? Well, uh, when I decided to embrace this 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 this, this situation being a meme, uh, my my intention was to to uh, to, to to make a, a direction to 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 to, to uh, send out some kind of message that uh, that is a positive one. So I I. Uh, I worked very hard on this, and together with my manager, and uh, I, 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 I received uh, so many feedback from the people who, who see my pictures on and my memes on the, on the net, and they, they are all grateful. They are, English is not my native language. I'm, <laughs> my neither. I have to say that. So sure. sometimes I have to, to to search for the words. Right. And and but, I uh, never been living in an English speaking country. But anyway, so what I wanted to say that uh, the first thing was uh, was to to establish a kind of of of, of background, a message, which which is 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 a positive one, 
people can identify it with uh, and that with uh, with this uh, this uh, feeling, uh, which is actually is is um, that uh, we have uh, so many bad things in our life, and the best thing we can do is 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 not to take them too serious and to step over and and. Um, to, to hide your pain behind a, a, a smile, a sad smile or, the, or a happy smile. It's, it's, um, it's on, up, up. It depends on you. It feels like what the world is going through right now, Andres, your, your expression is sort of perfect for it because the good news is you get, to, you get to go home and the bad news is you're always home. So, you know, we're all kind of dealing with this with, with a, with a sadish smile but we're doing the best we can to get through this pandemic. Mm-hmm. And you're the yeah. face for the, you're a good face <laughs> for, the, for what we're all feeling right now. Uh, the word meme doesn't describe the thing itself, but rather it's, it, it's means of transmission, quick and intense. According to Wikipedia, a meme acts as a unit for carrying cultural ideas, symbols, or practices that can be transmitted from one mind to another through writing, speech, gestures, rituals or other imitable phenomena mm-hmm. with a mimicked theme according to wikipedia in your ted talk andras you mentioned that your first impression yeah. to becoming a meme was shock and you were contemplating if there was a way to remove your images That's right. completely to stop the memification of your likeness it must have been startling to see how quickly images of you were adapted and distributed can you describe the process of moving from a place of discomfort with behind the pain herald internet alter ego to finally embracing it as much as you do today well that that was actually there were two reasons for that the first was that when when i i discovered some some uh, fake pages that that were using my photo and and uh, some of them were using the name of Hyde of Pain Harrow. Some of them uh, were using some, some other name, Morris, for instance, in France. And uh, I realized that uh, these fake pages uh, who used, used uh, my face had uh, several hundred thousands of followers. Uh, then I, saw, uh, I, I said to myself, if anyone else can do this, I can do it too, and and uh, it was it was one reason why uh, why I have embraced this thing and and I made my 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 own my own uh, fan page in English, and the other reason was that the guy it was a Russian guy, and he made uh, he he made some investigation. And he uh, discovered my my real identity. So uh, prior to that, uh, nobody knew uh, who who I am, who I was. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy uh, started to send me sending me emails that uh, I'm very uh, popular in 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 Russia, and uh, those people don't believe that I'm a, a, a living uh, human being. And uh, he asked me to to show myself, and at first. I ignored his requests, and, and, um, but he wrote again and again and again, and I finally said yes. And it, uh, then, then I uploaded on a, on, a, on a Russian social media site a picture of myself holding a paper in my hand that I, 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 I'm living. It was in Russian, Yajiv. So it's like he went on an investigation, and he must have been very excited right. when he discovered you. Yes, yeah. And la- uh, later, I, I I met him in in Moscow, and uh, and and uh, we became friends. And- All right. Well, we're going to have Dina uh, show us some of the memes that she finds the most entertaining. Would you like to read them out loud, Andres, when we show them on the screen? Actually, uh, I, I like uh, which memes I do. I like the best. It's uh, it's always uh, when when I see myself, I I I enjoy my, myself seeing in 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 context with with some 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 very well known very popular artwork a painting or a, a, a movie scene mm-hmm. or, or 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 a famous photograph. 
So they've got and, to be the Last uh, Supper, I'm guessing. Uh, like, uh, like for, for instance, uh, uh, the picture on the ceiling of the Sistinian Chapel in, in, <laughs> in, the, in Rome, the creation of Eden. And uh, Eden has my, my face. And all the heavenly angels had my face, too. <laughs> Oh, that's so a... it, it, it was funny. But uh, regarding other memes, I like uh, the best, uh, which, uh, which make you think, which, uh, which enlighten some, 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 some uh, hidden relationships you, you don't, uh, don't see for the first instance. So and subtext. I like the yeah. one with Ma Mount Rushmore was funny. Uh, yeah. I, I like it, too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Can you all, show us? All the, all, all the four presidents were me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Can you show us uh, some memes, Lane? Do you have them? All right, so we've got, can you read that one, uh, Andras? <laughs> yes, I can. Someone says, don't be anxious, and your anxiety is cured <laughs> at once. Oh, and and when, when all your friends are talking about all the job they applied for online, and you just finished the survey to find out what type of bread you are. <laughs> <laughs> nice reading. Crazy. My face when I check my bank account, uh, it's <laughs> almost zero. <laughs> During the warm weather in December, but deep down you know it's because the global warming. <laughs> oh, well, how many ch how many children and grandchildren do you have? Uh, no grandchildren. I have one son. He's, he's an adult. He's, yeah, he's an architect by by profession. And he has to see me memes, I have to tell you. So really? I'm curious, really? do, your neighbor, really? do, your, do your neighbors and friends all recognize, like, besides knowing uh, the, you? The they neighbors know? and friends are all proud of it. So they know. For my son, except for my son. He, so, he, does, he doesn't even watch them. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of really interested to hear about how your son reacted to seeing you as a meme. So it sounds like he didn't kind of embrace it and get into it as much as you have. He, he, he tries to ignore it. So, so How old is your son? Oh, four, 47. Do you have any grandkids that, that are getting a... No, no, no unfortunately no not. So, so tell your son to get over it. And, <laughs> you know, really. Come so... So I, I, I want to keep his privacy, but, right. uh, but what I, I can tell that, that, that uh, he's not involved in the social media business. He, he doesn't have a Facebook account. He has no Instagram. And an email address he's got because, uh, because it's, uh, it's a must for, uh, for every, every people nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's, but, interesting, but, uh, what's interesting is that it's kind of switched, right? Usually it's the younger generation, the uh, sons and daughters, grandchildren that have, that are active on social media and that would know your memes. And here mm -hmm. it's kind of flipped around where you're like a meme celebrity and your child doesn't even know. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, he knows, but he's not like, he's not it's, active and he doesn't it, get it. It's, it's strange, but it's true. Have you have you have you thought of changing your name to hide your son, Harold? <laughs> <laughs> so he's hidden. He he lives with us. Oh. He's in the, he's, he's in the next room, but uh, uh, but uh, doesn't he doesn't end up. Well, if you want to ground him, don't. Doing. If you want to ground him, don't take away his social media because he won't, <laughs> that he won't care. Yeah. Now, when you're walking around uh, Budapest, are you recognized? Do people quote memes to you? Do they want to take their picture with you? Because it's a big uh, no, no, Normally, yes. Now it's a curfew. It's, it's a lockdown time. So I, 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 uh, I'm not allowed to go onto the streets uh, only from, from 9 to 12 to make right. the shopping, the, the most necessary shopping. But otherwise, yes. It it uh, it happens uh, on a daily basis, and then people stop me on the streets, ask for a, for a uh, for a selfie, or just want to shake hands with me. And it's a, a good good feeling because I, I I see the joy on their face, and and to make other people happy, it's it's it's, it's a good feeling. Yes. So and when people, it, yeah, it, go it, ahead. 
it, it, uh, not all, it, it's happening not, not only here in Budapest where I live, but in any part of the world, wherever I go, from Siberia to South America, wow. no matter where I am, where, where I am uh, people recognize me, come to me, and, and, uh, and uh, they congratulate me. So now so it's, 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 you've taken a hold of, the, of your own branding and you have your own social media sites. So you've got a Facebook page and you've got an Instagram page so that, so that rather than having other people sort of hijacking your image, you've, you've decided I'm going to get a manager and I'm going to uh, take control of my own branding. So how did, how did that come to be? Well, I made uh, my, uh, my, my, my uh, Facebook and my Instagram pages. Uh, I, I did it by myself at the beginning. Because you're good at internet stuff. But it, it was uh, after, after a very short time, I, I realized that uh, it's a bigger task uh, than, than I can manage it alone. And... Uh, and uh, uh, for, 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 for three years now, I have a manager and an assistant, and we are uh, working together, and we are um, trying to make, make content. If, if anyone has, has, a, has a, a Facebook page or an Instagram page, there must be some more content to, to, keep, uh, to keep the people there. and, and uh, and uh, to, motiv to motivate them to come back and, and check what's, what's, what's going on, what's new. Right. So from time to time, we are, we are uh, making new content on it. So go ahead, Jamie. Have, have you made any memes about the coronavirus? And it could be because uh, I'd like to see you with a mask on and, and try uh, to, to, to <laughs> see. Give him a mask on his Facebook page, he's got a mask. Yes. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I saw I, a picture I, of him with a mask. I have a mask on, yeah. on, 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 my, on my cover photo. Oh, I missed yeah. it. Oh, I saw there it. you are. Uh, if, if, I, if I go out, out, out of the house, I have to wear a mask, so I yeah. do it. So do we. And, and by the way, I don't know if you know, I, I was a masked singer not, uh, not long ago. You mean the, the Hungarian, Hungarian version? The hung, the, I mean the Hungarian version. I was the monster. Oh my God, that is so good. That's so cool. Wow. And uh, I, I was uh, revealed after, after the, in, in the third episode. Did anyone guess? <laughs> the hosts, did they guess? Yes. If, if you make, uh, if, if, if you go down on my page, you can, uh, you sure yeah, you'll find photos. He's, of he's, he sang the song, Hide the Pain. That's when they knew. Uh, not I, uh, I, I, the first song I was singing was, was uh, Don't Worry, Be Happy. That's it. Well, That's your, how's your singing? How's your voice? Uh, awful. <laughs> oh, then so I, 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 can't, I, I, I can't sing. Don't so show it, us. It was, show it, us. I had, I had, uh, I had, had uh, singing lessons and I enjoyed them very good. Uh, very can, you, good. can you sing a little something for us? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> oh, Here's a little song I wrote. I'm little happier little already. I know, right? Um, don't worry, be so, happy. So, uh, Andras, I wanted to ask you, so the photos and the content that are on your current social media, um, they're all updated photos, right, that you've taken recently? They're not yes. like the old stock yes, photos. Yes, yes, I, 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 I don't use the old ones. So are you guys considering how you can monetize your branding? So it, 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 it brings money, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. Not not the big money, uh, but a, 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 a small supplement to my, my pension. Oh, right. I was, I was, yeah. It's a side it, hustle. Do, oh. you, do, do, do you feel like you've gotten f fairly compensated that, 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 that you're, you know, that you're getting yeah. some money now that, that it's fair for what you've, What's yeah, out there? I, I, I say it's fair. And uh, very well, well known companies are asking me to, to make, make, uh, make commercial for them, like Coca Cola, for instance, or, 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 or Procter and Gamble, or the Mexican Airlines. So, not, mm -hmm. not, only, not, not only here in Hungary. 
So that's, given that's, time, you could be the Hungarian Kardashian. You, I mean, it could become a big... <laughs> Maybe. How many followers has Kim Kardashian? I don't know. <laughs> At what point We're not missing any. At what point did you decide to get a manager involved to help you with all of this? Oh, it was very, very short after I, I, I set uh, set up my 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 Facebook. Did they approach you? Not my you I actually I have to have two Facebook uh, accounts, one for for my friends. It's in Hungarian, and uh, one for for the fans. It's it's uh, it's it's English, of course. And I have a Russian one too. That's a good question, Jamie. Did did you search out a manager to help you, or did somebody approach you and say, "Hey, I can help you with this"? Uh, yes, he approached me, and uh, uh, he was the, uh, the second guy who approached me. The the first uh, first one, he, he was an English guy from London, but he uh, didn't do anything much, and uh, I, I stopped uh, working with him. And uh, very shortly after, he, uh, this, this guy, who is his, his name is Danko, he, he approached me, he, he found my phone number, he, mm. he, knew, what, he, knew, he, he knew where I was working and uh, asked, asked my, my old colleagues to, uh, for, for my, my phone number. And I was uh, in a swimming pool and he called me. <laughs> Oh, how wonderful! Uh, <laughs> Can you talk uh, a little bit about and, what, and, and, what? And, and and I I asked well, yes, and, and and why not? Let's try ourselves out. What will come out of it? Sure. And and we are working together since ever so since meetings and, and and discussions. So, can you talk for a moment about what people see in your expression that they find so relatable? Because there's a there's making a meme. And then there's a meme going viral. And those are two completely different things. A lot of us have attempted to make memes and they just kind of got one or two likes. Uh, but yours go viral. So there's something that people are seeing in your expression that feels like how they feel. And, and Dina, speak to this because you, you, Dina's very, think, I, go ahead, Dondrash. I, I, I guess the, 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 the expression, my, my face is, uh, it, uh, it's, it's something that that uh, takes the message. The message is important, mm -hmm. and and my face is secondary. It it helps to 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 put the message to its play, right place mm -hmm. and to to reach the people who are uh, open to see this. Right. right. The context. Go ahead, Dina. Sir. The context Sorry. is Sorry. really important because you have the fact that they're based on stock photos, right, that were meant for a completely different purpose. And then you're putting mm -hmm. um, captions on them that speak to something much deeper and more universal and um, are completely separate from the sort of like yeah. corporate yeah. purpose of the original product. Um, but what's interesting about the hide the the herald uh, hide the pain herald memes is that hide the herald <laughs> <laughs> is that they've lasted for so long. Like there's still new hide the pain memes that are being made, and usually memes don't last that long, right? They don't have like a long yeah. um, a long shelf life. But your memes, it's like mm -hmm. I don't think they're ever gonna go away. Yeah, okay. there was a survey on the internet. And I was elected as, as the meme of the, of, of, of the previous decade. Wow. Of, of the 2010s. That's awesome. Is that what, what came in second? <laughs> I, I don't know the reason. I don't know it the reason the why. It so was I the never, the, I the never, cat, was me. the lady yelling happened. at the cat. It was the cat. <laughs> Murray. It was Murray. Murray Wait, came in second. What's hey, here's, Here's a fun thing. I know we're an audio uh, podcast, but on this Facebook where we can all see each other, can we uh, all try to do Andre's facial expression, our own version of it? Well, I don't remember, think I remember you're smiling, but you're but there's pain behind it. It's enigmatic. <laughs> let's let's all try it. <laughs> so uh, I, I uh, sorry I couldn't catch you. We were trying to we we're trying to mimic you. That's pretty good. 
we're doing the expression where you're smiling, oh, but you may be uh, crying any uh, moment. Uh, <laughs> it's like Oliver, please, sir. May I have some more? <laughs> I could be a meme. Uh, don't don't worry, me, don't worry, be me. happy. Don't be afraid of the coronavirus. <laughs> it will be right. over. You You're know, actually a really happy, positive guy, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's I, what makes it so interesting so. that like people see something behind your expression. It's not really, there's not really something actually there. It's like what people are reading into it. Right. And I think you are, the reason that you embraced all of this is because you are a positive guy. And so you're like, what's the upside? All right, right. this this is happening. I just got on this train and this train just took off. So where are we going and what am I going to see? And do I need a camera and a swimsuit? Like you you just kind of embrace <laughs> what's, camp, what's coming at you. And, <laughs> and that's the message really in your TED talk, right? Yes. Yes. Try, try yourself in, 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 in different, uh, different fields. I have a question. When you did the TED talk, had you ever done public speaking? Had you spoken in front of a large group like that before? Oh, not such a large, large group. Uh, for, uh, for a, so well, uh, in, in my earlier life, I was an engineer, right. and, uh, and uh, I, I, I took part in, 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 in scientific conferences ah. when, I, when I had uh, to, take, uh, to, to give lectures there. And I was uh, teaching at the university to, uh, for kids uh, lighting techniques. How did, how, did you, so, how, did you, how did you like doing that TED Talk? Was that fun for you or was it difficult? Oh, I think it was, it was the, uh, the highlight of my career. Oh, wonderful. Because, yeah, it's, 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 it was a great honor that they, they requested me to take part in it, to, to give a TED Talk. If you have yeah. to do another one, they, they say that if you're not used to speaking in front of large audiences, to picture them all naked makes it easier. <laughs> I think that's that what they say. That that equity, did you correct. see the TED Talk, Danny? Because they, yeah. they all were they naked. They actually were naked. They all were naked. <laughs> Anybody in the audience. <laughs> no, I have, a, I have a parental block on my iPhone. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to summarize this with a paragraph uh, that Dina wrote. Could you read that for us, Dina? Absolutely. Something that's wrong. I think there's construction upstairs. There's a dem an anti-meme demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> now, when, when you were an electrical engineer, did you ever think someday I'm going to be famous? But and no. then no, and then all of a sudden, no, no. No, he was no. lighting up other people. That's a remarkable at, story. At all all, all my, my, my old colleagues are all, all were wondering that that, uh, that 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 happened to me. I can say now that it was it was the best thing that happened to me in my life. Can I, what, can I ask you a question? What what is what accomplishment are you most proud of prior to your memehood, like in your engineering life and stuff? What accomplishment in your work or whatever the were well, you most? I, I I got two two or three scientific prizes. Uh, I, I'm a member of the Hungarian Lighting Society and, and the Hungarian Electrotechnical Association, and I got prizes from uh, these organizations. Uh, once I was, was the vice president of the Lighting Society in Hungary, I, maybe I can show you one of these prizes. Sure. Excellent. If, if, you, I, I, if I can find it in my drawer. You can't find it because there's no drawer. light. Oh. <laughs> Hold it up. It's, it's, it's a famous Hungarian en engineer, but on the back, I'm engraved. I don't know if you can see yeah. it. Wow. wow. Urbanic. What makes memes fun and enjoyable for everybody is that they're relatable and it's combined with a very specific presentation that... Um, that maybe like not everybody understands or understanding it makes you feel like part of something. Mm -hmm. um, it makes you feel accepted and maybe even admired. And I think especially for young people, that makes it okay, more okay to talk about difficult subjects than, um, than in the past because you're kind of like in the cool club, right? And now you're talking about like things like anxiety and depression um, but but you're because, using humor as well. Exactly. Yeah. Topics that are difficult. Right. Sure.
and you get the face for it all. So thank you. So let's show your uh, your social media so everyone knows where to find you. So here you are on Instagram. Awesome. That's right, Payne Harold. Yes. There's your man. And, and the same and the same in Facebook. No. This is hide the pain, Harold. Pain Harold in Instagram and hide the pain. Harold. And you have a website on, on on Facebook. And here's your website. I have a website. Uh, yes, it's a website too. Yeah, tell us about. You mentioned your video editing. Tell us about that. Or only my my own Hungarian site, mm -hmm. but uh, it's about that uh, we are sitting here inside in in between the four walls. Uh, and the highlight of the day when 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 we take out the garbage out of the house <laughs> and, and, I dress, yeah. and and I dressed uh, elegantly to to take the garbage <laughs> out. I love that. That's Andres. Andres, I'm curious. What would you ever consider shaving, or do you think that would ruin your image? Oh. Uh, uh, there was a time when I was face shaved with, uh, when I was a soldier. Danny, he's uh, trying to hide that, uh, pain. What part of that do you that, not get? No, but if you shave it, there's a better chance for pain. That's why we grow facial hair, to hide the pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to thank our guest, Andras Arato, for being with us. Thank you, Danny Mann. You're thank you. welcome. It was a good fun to be with you. Oh, thank you, Bill Good, thank, you. thank you, Dina Friedman. And did I leave anybody out? Mr. Filipiak is Raise your hand if I haven't thanked you. I am Louise Palenker, and we will be with you. Bye, Louise. Bye, Louise. Bye, Andres. Thank you so much for joining us.